was before we came, the one who preceded our existence. In him we live and move and have our being. He is Alpha. He is Omega. He is King forevermore. Can you give God the glory in this house this morning with a wave of your hands? With a wave of your hands. With a wave of your hands. We give you all the praise, Jesus. You are worthy of praise. You are worthy of thanks. If you are a living soul this morning, can you praise God from your heart? Can you appreciate your Father? He is your God. But He's not just your God, He's your Father. He's the one you can call to. He's the one you can run to. He's the one who is never tired of having you. He's the one whose hands are always open wide to receive you. Father, we give you praise in this house. We make a melody from our heart. Can you make a melody from your heart to the Lord this morning? Let a melody rise from your heart to your King. Manabosha, Yakata, Lebosha. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. my heart sings. Oh, 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 can we make that melody from our hearts with our voices raised? Oh. of triumph can you bless the lord this morning clap your hands shout to the lord you can jump if you want to jump you can shout if you want to shout you can clap if you have hands to clap can you give the lord a big shout of praise this morning thank you jesus we are never tired of praising you we are never tired of saying thank you hallelujah good morning church are you happy to be in god's presence ask your neighbor are you happy to be in god's presence all right, let's take our confession with faith this morning. Say with me with attitude, I am a harvester. I can hear you. I am a harvester. I am divinely protected by God. The Lord is my inheritance, my portion, my cup of blessing. Therefore, all that is mine are guarded and maintained by him, I am defended, protected, and shielded on a daily basis. Can you say that again? I am defended, protected, and shielded on a daily basis. Say, I am rescued from every trap, protected from every deadly disease. The Lord, my refuge, orders the angels to protect me wherever I go. I am kept from all harms in the name of Jesus. Say, I am kept in the day. I am kept at noon. I am kept at night, even in the midnight hours. Say, I am a harvester. I am in perfect health. My cells, tissues, organs, and systems are functioning at their optimal level. Healing is the children's bread, and I partake fully and freely. I have no stress. Come on, demonstrate it. I have no stress, worry, anxiety, or fatigue. I am not seized with alarm, fear, or dread. Say, I am not shaken by any trouble or challenges my energy and youthfulness come on show it my energy and youthfulness is renewed and my strength 
is replenished on a daily basis. Say, I have no pain, no suffering, sickness, no disease. Because Jesus took my pain and infirmity. Say, I have and enjoy overflowing, abundant, and satisfying life of God. Say it again. I have and enjoy overflowing, abundant, and satisfying life of God. Do you believe it? Shout, I believe it. I receive it. It is mine in Jesus' name. Come on, give the Lord a big shout of praise if you believe it. Can you turn to five people? Make sure you leave your row and welcome them to church this morning. Say, God bless you. What a joy to see you. What a blessing I see around you. Oh, you look great. I see the blessing of God upon you. I see the glory of God upon you. I see the anointing of God upon you. I see God blessing you in this service. I see God lifting you. I see God lifting you. I see God changing you. Your story for good. In the name of Jesus, welcome to church. Can we put our hands together? for Jesus. It's a beautiful day. It's a bright day. It is a day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Are you glad this morning? Can you give the Lord a big shout of praise? And with Jesus joy, can we welcome our online audience? Say welcome to church. We are glad that you have joined us and we know the same spirit of God here is reaching out to you over there in the name of Jesus. Alright, can you help your neighbor to sit as we welcome the grace crew. Church, Hallelujah. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to glorify the name of the Lord this morning in a South African language. Hallelujah. Ah, Hallelujah. you, hey, Pastor said we should be open to new song. Oh, I hope I am talking in a South African language. Exactly, that's the reaction. Be blessed as you listen.
celebrate Jesus properly this morning thank you Lord Jesus where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty there is freedom there is deliverance receive yours this morning in the name of Jesus receive your miracles in the name of Jesus may you see the goodness of the Lord and the glory of the Lord all the days of your life in the mighty name of Jesus you are blessed in the name of Jesus you are healed in the name of Jesus, it is well with you, spirit, soul, and body. In the name of Jesus, we receive your goodness. We receive your blessings, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Now clap your hands one more time, all oh, you people. And shout to the Lord with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Just a little, just a little. Glory to God. 
Every time she said, the glory of the Lord is here. Say, he's doing something beautiful already. Say, I hope you are blessed already. You should be saying yes to that. I hope you know you are blessed already. Now give him praise one more time. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You may be seated in the house of God. Grace crew, God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. There's such a sweet anointing. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right. Um, I'm not the one preaching this morning, so let me just do my job and leave. Um, I'm, I'm glad to... I'm, well, I'm actually excited to let you know that exactly two months from now is going to be Celebrate Jesus 5.0. Exactly two months from now, the 19th of January, it's going to be at the Liberty Stadium by the grace of God. Hallelujah. And we're looking forward to that. How many of you were a part of Celebrate Jesus 3.0 at uh, this January this year? All right, all right. We trust God. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be better in the name of Jesus. It's close our home now. And, and so we trust God for more harvest. Um, we have some work to do leading up to that crusade. We have publicity. We, 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 we have strategy. We have commitment levels that need to be met so that it can be successful. So what, one of the things we're doing as a church in Ibadan, all global harvest churches in the city, the first three days of December, you know, it would have been three days of prayer and fasting. We're dedicating it to three days of publicity and to, to jumpstart batches of publicity and evangelism mixed together. Um, so all global harvest churches in the city are coming together here on the first and on the second. Well, you want to put those hands together, please do so. Yeah, we're coming together to, to pray, to be trained, and then to be deployed into this unique strategy we want to use by God's grace to bring in the harvest and to prepare for Celebrate Jesus 5.0. Let me tell you, neighbor, the first three days of glory will be publicity and impact. So we're, we're, we're tweaking it a bit. Now, that we have somebody who is supporting us as a ministry, supporting Global Harvest Church in this endeavor. His name is Evangelist Samson Becker. He was with us during, um, well, you will, oh yeah, please put those hands together. Thank God for him. Um, we, he is such a man of grace and uniqueness. You know, he's such a raw evangelist. It's like how the Bible describes uh, John the Baptist, that he was a man that wore camel skin and ate locust and wild honey. The man can be wild. Um, praise God. Something's happening to my voice. It's gone down. The voice has dropped somehow. I don't know. Something's dropped. Thank you, Jesus. All righty. Praise God. Hallelujah. Is it better now? Okay. Is it? Yeah, it's back to, yeah. It just came back. Praise God. Up and above. So, um. You know, I, I, I used to pray that a generation would come that would not hear that. Yeah, I used to pray. And I thought we had crossed it until, I think about 10 years ago, or maybe longer, I went to visit a family and the broad light, and I heard their baby say, up nep. I'm like, oh, no. Um, uh, but but I, I'm, we will get there by the grace of God. I say, you people didn't even say amen to that. Yeah, a generation will come that will not know up nepa. Because there will be light always in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, Evangelist Becker is going to be with us at the, towards the end of this service to mobilize us and prep us. Um, he's visited, he should be at Global Harvest Agudi right now. He's going to come in towards the end of the first service. He's going to visit LA, LA Church. He will still visit um, Outer Ring Road Church and just prepping us for the work that's ahead. It's going to be challenging us to make commitments to be here on the first and on the second to go out for the, to be here for the prayers, the training, and to be deployed. So I'm, I'm just prepping you and asking you to make up your mind to be a part of this 1,000 army that's going to 
go out and do the work and mobilize. And we're trusting God for an attendance of 40,000 that celebrate Jesus 5.0. Amen. Yeah, that's, that's what we trust. If you want to clap, clap, please. You know, the math is a bit simple. If we're trusting God for 40,000 people and, and a thousand of us go out, it means each of us should get 40 people. That's what it means. All right. But it's going to talk a little bit more. And then in the, in the weeks to come also, we prepare better and teach around it uh, by God's grace. I think I should stop there for now. I have more things to share at the end of the service. This morning, I'm excited that God's prepared this vessel to be a blessing to us. Globalize, would you please stand in honor of God and his handmaiden as we receive the first lady of this house, the love of my life and the mother of my boys. Please help me receive Pastor Tolulok, where Jen Radi Aladis on me this morning. Hallelujah. God is happy. Are you happy? Let me ask your neighbor, are you happy? I hope you got a response this morning. Say, are you happy? Are you really happy? Is there something bothering you? If there's something bothering you, I can just pray with you for a moment. So can you just grab that hand in a few seconds and just speak peace over your neighbor? In the name of Jesus, we speak peace over their hearts, over their families, over their bodies. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever it is that needs the peace of God right now, come on, declare peace over it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah, declare the peace of God, the oil of joy for mourning, the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. In the name of Jesus, and that the name of the Lord will be glorified in their lives and in their families, and that the Lord will show up for them like never before, that they will see the hand of the Lord this week, they will see the hand of the Lord before the end of this year, in the name of Jesus Christ, that their lives will never remain the same from this service, in the name of Jesus, that there will be impact in their life, their lives will be a life of significance, it will be a life of impact, it will be a life that will bring glory to God, in the name of Jesus. They will not be ordinary. Come on, declare that over your neighbor. Say you will not be ordinary. I refuse for your life to be ordinary. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that you're a sign and a wonder. In the name of Jesus, I declare you're an eternal excellence, a joy of many generations. I declare that the word of God is your reality. The word of God is your reality. In the name of Jesus, you can never be anything less than what the word said and what is saying about you right now. You are blessed and favored by the Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus, the mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You can please take your seats in the presence of God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. And at his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. I'm grateful this morning for the privilege of bringing the word of God to you. Thank you, um, my pastor and the love of my life. Thank you for giving me this beautiful privilege this morning. It's always a joy to speak the word of God. It's been an interesting last one year of my life <laughs> as I embarked upon a journey, you know, that I just had no idea off until I got into it. You know, I went in for my postgraduate um, studies in something totally different from what I studied in my, um, in my first degree, for my first degree. I mean, I, I've always been an art student. I was an art student, as in completely, absolutely, totally art student. And here I was having to go and study public health in College of Medicine, University of Ibadan. So, you know, swung from one angle to the other one, an extreme, two extreme angles. And I had to put my head in, um, do everything I could on my, in, my, in my own ability, but more in the strength and the power of the Holy Spirit, and God helped me, and is still helping me because 
I'm at the tail end of that journey. Please help me bless the name of the Lord. Let me bless the name of the Lord. And I want to celebrate my husband for the, um, the support and everything and his understanding. Because like you know, I haven't really been able to participate much in church activities as much as I really tried and ba badly, badly wanted to be. Um, I really could not. And thank you, my love, for letting me. <laughs> well, I'm back this morning and I'm excited <laughs> to share the word of God because this is where I belong. Amen. I belong here and I belong in there. But I belong here. And I'm so excited and grateful to God for the privilege of bringing the word of God to you. So this morning, God says be intentional. Help me look for two people this morning and say, be intentional. Say, be intentional about your life. Say, God wants you to be intentional about your life. I realize that even this God is an intentional God. You know, that guy sang to us and said, it's intentional, never failing. All things are working for my good. It says, it's intentional, never failing. So God is intentional about our lives. I see that in Genesis chapter 1. The Bible says that in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, it says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form. It says, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. So I see a God here who is intentional about making something, creating something, and he created the earth. But the earth that he created was without form. But did God stop there? Did God stop there? How many of you think that God wanted to create something that looked like this? How many of you would have wanted to live in a world like this? If you would have wanted to live in a world like this, let me see your hand. Oh, yeah. So God knew that it wasn't the best of what he wanted. Verse 3, let's see. Verse 3, please. It says, and God said, let there be light. And there was light because that was his intention. That was what he saw from the beginning. What God saw was light. But when he spoke in Genesis chapter 1, that was not what he saw. So, but what he wanted to see, he began to speak. I want to say to somebody today that God wants us to be intentional, be deliberate about our lives because it is up to us really how it all turns out. Help me look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, say it is totally up to you how your life turns because God has shown you the way. Hallelujah. And I want us to talk not just about our lives in general, but I want us to be specific about the year 2024. How many of you know that the world is in pain right now? There's so much pain, there's so much anguish, you know, and it's not just a Nigerian thing. It's all over the world. There's economic, a lot of economic issues here and there, prices, inflation, and all of that. And that just kind of reminded me of the story of Joseph and what happened back then in the book of Genesis when God had specially prepared Joseph ahead for his brothers. And it wasn't just for his brothers alone. God actually prepared Joseph for the entire world because God knew that there was going to be a period and a season in the world where there was going to be a problem, there was going to be economic issues, and God needed a man with understanding to stand and preserve an entire generation. And I pray over you this morning that you'll be that man and woman in the name of Jesus. I said you'll be that man and woman that God will entrust the world into their hands in the name of Jesus. You will be that person who will carry the solution to the problems of our world in the name of Jesus Christ. So God wants us to be intentional. In Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 to 17, the Bible says, Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise but as wise, be very careful how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. He says the days that we are in right now, they that you walk 
circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Walk circumspectly, walk intentionally, walk intelligently. The Amplified Classic says, look carefully then how you walk. Live purposefully and worthily and accurately, not as the unwise and witless. Witless means foolish, but as wise, meaning sensible, intelligent people. Glory to God. Let me look at your neighbor this morning and say, God is talking to you. Say, I really hope you're listening. <laughs> Hallelujah. God says, look carefully then how you walk. Live purposefully and worthily and accurately, not as unwise but, and witless, but as wise, as one who is sensible and intelligent. He says, making the very most of the time, buying up every opportunity because the days are evil. He now says in verse 17, therefore do not be vague, do not be vague and thoughtless. To be vague is to have an unfocused thought, meaning that you're not dreaming, you're not in a particular di direction, you're not thinking exactly, about, you're not thinking about the way you exactly want your life to turn. I told us Genesis